What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we survived the freeze and we have another one tonight. So we're gonna go around and close all the tunnels and give an update on everything. So this is the nursery. We're getting some things watered now before we close it down. And then go out and close up all the tunnels. Okay, these are heat cables. So underneath, this one goes to 154 degrees. And above, this goes to 180. Okay, plot 11 is ready and um, prepped to be planted in probably mostly carrots, maybe a few other things. And then we have plot 10 here. So we got spinach, carrots, and Napa cabbage in here. The spinach will be fine without real cover because it's spinach, but everything else we just don't want to get affected um, by the cold and stunt the growth. Because basically it's springtime in here, but not completely yet out here. All right, in this tunnel we've got salad we've been harvesting for the past three weeks. The last week is right here. And some head lettuce over here and kohlrabi and radish in here. We're getting down to 27 tonight, so it's not super cold, but um, We've experienced 23 degrees this week. We've done all this and the plants haven't been affected at all. So we're thinking this might be the last like hard freeze the next three days, the, well like the next three nights will be like the last hard freeze and then hopefully we're good. This tarp spot here is all the turmeric. Um, we've got the plastic on it now to keep the moisture out of there and warm up that soil faster. And then up here in front of the house is, um, what are we planting here? What are we planting here? Yeah. Probably radicchio and cabbage. Radicchio and cabbage. We just built three tunnels this spring, so due to how much we lost, we thought it'd be smart to invest in more cover. Um, in our climate, it makes sense. So we grow all year. We have customers that buy from us all year. And as we experience five degrees or three to four inch rain events, sometimes five inch rain events, um, this kind of cover growing makes sense. Got some collards in here. Swiss chard coming in nice, broccoli coming in nice. Cauliflower is a little rough. We've had an issue with actually fire ants eating the base of the plants and then more Swiss chard over there. Sona was uh, salad, beets, and like tot soy and pak choy. Purple cabbage and green cabbage. So in this tunnel, there is celery, head lettuce, beets, and we're getting ready to do um, cucumbers in here. Twenty eight is the real, like low temperature where you get damage, and um, in a tunnel, twenty seven it'll probably only be twenty seven for an hour here. But what we've noticed over time is not letting the plants have to acclimate to the cold like that um, keeps them growing faster. This here is a new tunnel we built and we'll be doing uh, 
sun goes in here. Right now it's salad and carrots. And here we've got kohlrabi and radicchio. Salad and carrots. What's in here? There is celery and uh, spicy power greens mix and cabbage and the last of the chard. Kohlrabi, radish, radish, and kale. Sorry, trying to rush through this. Um, not a whole lot of extra information, but we had the markets today, so it's like a 4 a.m. to 2 p.m. deal, and then um, we had some dinner and hung out with some friends. So before the sun goes down, we're really trying to get everything covered. We've got this plot ready to plant. Hedgerow here, elderberry and comfrey. A couple service berries in there. We got this pot ready to plant. In this one, we've got collards, arugula, scallions, and some more head lettuce. We've been selling a lot of head lettuce. Um, fixed up some things with the soil fertility and all that stuff, and the head lettuce has been really nice. So but we decided to buy more. So we've also got the um, there goes the dog. We've also got the uh, lease land. That's um, 40 more beds, and then we started growing in part of that greenhouse that's there. So uh, the greenhouse is okay, but um, we got onions. But we're waiting on the onions till this next three nights of freezes comes through, and then we'll plant them on Tuesday. Salad, kohlrabi, cabbage, more salad. So. This area right here is the what we're calling the flower plot, and um, our employee Liv and Tori will be doing like cut flowers and stuff like that. Um, so that is 10 40 foot beds. Um, we're getting ready to tarp it, so we like built it. Um, we built it this past winter, and there's some grasses coming up, so we're gonna tarp it, kill off those grasses, rake the leaves back from the bed into the walkway, and then go ahead and. Put the flowers in. We're actually getting ready to start them soon, so they should be ready by that time. Last tunnel: beets, fennel, collards that's coming out, arugula, and uh, some more lettuces. And then all those open beds. So we're gonna direct seed beets, um, plant broccoli, more cabbages. Um, then also at the lease land, we're doing potatoes. And there's garlic there. There's about nine beds of garlic and one bed here. And then, and then we've got some room for some other stuff. We're gonna be doing tomatoes and cucumbers in the greenhouse. And then in some of these beds here, like in between these tunnels, we may just fill it with squash when the time comes when it's warm enough. A lot of stuff happening, a lot of stuff going on. But um, give me all an update. I'm gonna make a tool video here soon. And then um, about the tools, so six figure we make, so we're doing like six figures per acre. That's what it comes down to. And um, just going over the tools that we use. It's actually pretty simple. So um, that's the next video, probably. Maybe I'm gonna. I'm trying to get back into the vlog stuff, but it's just hard. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed it, and um, thanks for watching.